Hello and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K, and this is a Bourbon County brand stout by Goose Island. And this is fancy. A like special release beer. Um, this one was like thirteen ninety nine, something like that. It was pretty expensive. Yes. Yeah. A 16.9 ounce bottom uh, bottle. Uh, it says it was made in 2022. This is the end of 2022. It says on here that it develops in the bottle for up to five years, meaning they're telling you you can age it. The oldest one is five years old. Now, if you flip it around to the front, they tell you what actually what year is actually bottled, which is what? What is it? No, it's 2022. Oh, you're, yes. you're misunderstanding what that says. It says it develops in the bottle up to five years, so that means you can age it. That's an oh, I thought that was a I thought that was the statement that they were saying. No, they were saying that they aged it up to five years. No, like um, uh, KBS. KBS. Yeah. KBS goes in a cave and it just lives there for like three years. Yeah, this one doesn't have an age statement on it per se, but um, it's a pretty high ABV at. Uh, 16.3%. Four, four, I think that's higher than KBS. So it's very it's very big. It does say specifically to drink out of snifters, so snifters. Yep. I'm gonna pour real hard to see if I can get ahead, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Something that wide, I don't think you're gonna get ahead on it. Oh well, I don't know. Got a little bit of a development there. It's it looks like motor oil. It do. It looks like fizzy motor oil. Um, there is absolutely no light getting through that. Don't think motor oil is supposed to fizz. Nope. Absolutely. Even up against the studio lights, it doesn't care. So when you get condensation in your oil, that that top, that's the color. Huh. I've never seen oil come out that color before, which is good. Yeah. If you if you have that, then you have a problem. I um, have seen I have seen water come out of a uh, radiator that's got oil in it though. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> It's very malty, very coffee forward. It's got a has a lot of grassiness to it. Hay, like like musty hay. It's got like a sugar smell to it, like it like just a you know like just regular sugar smells. Like it reminds me of a like unbleached sugar a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like or like molasses sugar maybe. Maybe molasses sugar, yeah. Brown sugar. Yeah, like brown. Light brown sugar. Yeah, like brown sugar, yeah. It smells very sweet. I wasn't expecting for it to smell as sweet it is as, as it smells. I mean, it's pretty strong in, in the nose. It smells like it's going to be, uh, it might, you might feel the alcohol on it. You might. <laughs> we'll find out. Like it's, the sweetness is not like an overall, an overarching smell. It's just stronger than I was expecting. Yeah. Oh, oh boy, that is very sweet. It's so thick. It is also... It's very sweet. It's almost tart, which is weird. I'm not. That it's that sweetness is. That not just good. tastes like a chocolate beer. I don't get like a whole lot of coffee. There's a little bit of coffee, but it's mostly just chocolate and sweets. Mm -hmm. I feel like this might have been one of those things that that you hold on to for a couple of years. I get it needs some, to develop. I get some booziness. Um, it's yeah, very coffee forward, a little vanilla, maybe some dark fruit in there, but it's very, it's got a little bit of a um, musty uh, old hay barn. Mm -hmm. that it's, is, it's warm. You can definitely tell that this is a high alcohol beer. Now, comparing it to other bourbon barrel aged stouts on the market, there are many better ones mm. than this one. There are many better ones that don't cost as much, too. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like. You're gonna pay a little more for a bourbon barrel aged out, but I think this is one of the more expensive ones I've seen. Mm. So, see, it's really, really sweet. So that does set it apart from the rest of them, though. Yeah, but it also it's not as uh, the flavors aren't as deep. Mm -hmm. It's like KBS or something, mm -hmm. or like a CBS. This definitely needs to sit and like get to know itself a little bit more before you drink it. I don't think there's something like bad about it, or there's something bad in the flavors. Um, the sweetness can be a little much, but um, it's just it's not doing it for me. Mm -hmm. It needs to mellow out a bit, I think. Mm -hmm. It's still it's still all right. You could definitely buy you could definitely buy like one of these to drink now, 
make notes and so on and so forth. If you're a nerd, like some people here. I make notes and then, on once every 400 videos. <laughs> I've seen you make notes on beer before. <laughs> <coughs> then you'd have you another one. You know, you can age it for like a year, two years. Maybe get six. Or wait, does it say five? Yeah, you get five. Have one every year. Here's my thing. So, I saw these at Total Wine for about three months straight, and it was a huge display, and I'd never hardly seen any gone. Mm-hmm. So I skipped it, I skipped it, I skipped it, and finally the last time I went in, I bought one. And um, I think the sales tell it all. Like KBS doesn't sit on the shelf yeah, like that. that's See, very true. KBS doesn't sit on the shelf like that. The uh, Hazelnut, KBS doesn't sit on the shelf like that. A lot of the Kentucky L stuff doesn't sit on the shelf like that. Budweiser does. doesn't sit on the shelf like that. Like, that like, like Budweiser. <laughs> but this was sitting around a long time. So here's what I'm thinking is going to happen. They're going to go clearance. And when they do, that is when I go pick up yep. two or three. And I could definitely see putting down like uh, $9. I'd be fine with this at $9. Yeah. I still would not be buying a whole lot of them, but I'd probably buy one. Goose Island, um, I used to really like Goose Island mm. in 2007. <laughs> was it the uh, the height of the Goose Island IPA was, days? I believe either right before or right when Anheuser Bush bottom, somewhere around that time. But they had good beers up to that point, and then um, it kind of went downhill, and mm -hmm. then I kind of stopped liking them. And then their beer got scarce, and you don't see it hardly anymore like yeah. you used to. You used to see like Honkers and all kinds of other stuff around. Yeah, I would be fine with this in a couple of years. <laughs> I, I can't picture buying another one of these and then drinking it immediately. It's going to go like under the bar, and it's just going to stay there until it's... Dusty, so dusty you can't read the labels. Oh, interesting. Notes of vanilla, toffee, burnt sugar, and chocolate. Burnt sugar? Dried fruit. Burnt sugar's not good, guys. I can see the burnt sugar thing, though. Sure. Like melted sugar, maybe. Time for a number. Caramelized. Uh, I don't think it's above average for a bourbon barrel... I think it's a five. Yeah, I'm, I think it's I'm the right most, there. I'm right the there with you. It's the most average. <laughs> like, I might have gave it a five and a half if it wasn't expensive. I thought you were about to give it like a substantially higher no. score when you were like, I don't think it's, and I was like, he's going to say like, I don't think it's a 10 or something. I'm like, I don't even think it's above average. Like the price <laughs> makes it below at, but like cheaper. So I'm going to stick with a five, like right in the middle of Yeah, no, this is a, this is really a super average beer. Now here's the thing though, I, I, I can... I can see how this would be like better after a couple of years, after it's mellowed out and it's not like so mm -hmm. strong. Just right now is not the time. Right. Um, I have to give it a five. I can't give it more than a five. I want to give it like a four and a half because it was so expensive, but I am going to give it a five. It's fair. Jesus. Uh, mm. I, I, I'll recommend it if you can get them on clearance and to age them. Otherwise, if you just get it to try it as is, I would skip. I'm gonna say skip this one entirely. I mean, I could I could see why you would wanna buy one. I'm not gonna hold it against you if you get like five or six more and put them in the closet of doom, but, ah, oh, man, I, I, I can't do it. You know what kind of beer this is? This is Jungle Gems, buy 10 of them for yes. a $5 dollars beer. Absolutely. You know how they have random, they have those random yeah, sales? Yeah, the big, the, just the big crate of beer that you can get for cheapish. Yeah. <laughs> Here's stuff that didn't sell really well, it's about to expire, you guys buy it. Exactly. God, I can't wait to go to Jungle Gems. Mm -hmm. When is the beer, uh, the beer fest? Soon. We will talk about it after this video. Yes. All right, well. That has been this episode. If you'd like to see anything else on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to support us on Patreon, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Special K. And I am Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.